Hey there, my next viewers. You're watching the Main Man channel. It's not just names the way of life. Got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day. Just making this cool old world. Appreciate y'all watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on all my social media. Links will be in the description. Sign up for the Glock 19 giveaway and sign up for the January knife giveaway. That being said, uh, I'm not going to go into as much detail as I did in the other video. Uh, because I'm just going to hit, go ahead and hit the high points, the spoiler, the spoilers about it. But anyways, that being said, uh, here is the uh, spoiler review for Matrix Resurrections. Okay, you need to go see it because it was good uh, for one thing. But uh, here's the direction they went with it. They won't tell you why. They won't tell you why, and it don't seem like, you know, but it leads to that direction. The Matrix cannot survive without Neo and Trinity. And it definitely can't survive as is without them plugged up. So they didn't die in Matrix uh, Resolutions. The last one where it appeared that they uh, give their lives. They actually got plugged back up in the machine. They got healed. And it kept them from aging a whole lot. They did age, but they didn't age as much as they could have. Uh, because it's been like 60 years. Okay, so we go back to Thomas Anderson character, which is a Neo's character inside the Matrix. And he is a successful video game writer and creator. He has created three video games. The Matrix, uh, The Matrix Reloaded, and Matrix Reser, uh, Resolutions. And he's working on the fourth one, Matrix Resurrect. So that's where, we, that's where we're coming into the life. And he has not had a very fulfilling life. He is kind of like a, a deadbeat video game designer, kind of like a... Uh, you know, that is his life. His life is to do that and take blue pills. And he has these uh, freak outs and stuff. And what the freak outs are is his him recalling his real life inside the Matrix. And his real life events of the Matrix movies. So he has unknowingly, unconsciously written a couple of characters in the video game that got written in his world. And uh, the video characters become part of the Matrix and part of the real world. And it's kind of, it's kind of pretty complicated how that happened. But uh, he recreated Morpheus as, a, uh, as parts of Agent Smith and parts of Morpheus, a younger version of him. Uh, he had to keep Agent Smith to keep the, to stay alive. So he made Agent Smith like his boss at the video game company. Uh, he, uh, Wrote Trinity in as his family girl, but she loves working on motorcycles. Uh, and so she becomes a family lady, you know, has a family, but she loves working on motorcycles. Uh, yeah, but of course all that's fake and everything because they're inside the Matrix. But uh, as long as he's taking them blue pills, he's fine. But uh, when he stops taking them blue pills, he starts having those attacks and he starts remembering things and... And uh, they got a psychiatrist character who is the one trying to control and manipulate everything. He's the one that plugged him and Trinity back up to the Matrix and uh, all that good stuff. And uh, he's trying to manipulate everything. But eventually Neo meets a couple people and he runs into the uh, Morpheus character that he has written. And uh, there's this white bunny girl character who helps the Morpheus character and helps the Neo character. And blah, blah, blah. We end up... You know, he gets unplugged. He ends up going in there and saving Trinity. And uh, even though he's unplugged and everything, he's not got all of his powers back. He can still, like, stop bullets. He, he's still super strong. You know, he can still do these crazy moves and move crazy fast. But he can't fly. But towards the end, probably the biggest spoiler about it, uh, him and Trinity have to jump off of a building after he wakes her up. And... Uh, Trinity ends up flying. She's the one flying. So she saves him and they fly off. 
and uh, towards the end of it, they go back up against that psychiatrist uh, guy played by Doogie Hauser, uh, Neil Patrick Harris, and uh, basically they confront him and try to figure out what's going on and everything and all this stuff. And after they talk to him and say, well, you know, they make demands against him and everything and probably setting up future movies possibly. But they both fly off together. They can both fly now. So pretty cool. So uh, it's definitely worth going and watching. Definitely better than the last installment and uh, kind of ties everything together and maybe sets up future movies. So... All right, I'm going to leave it right there. That's the Matrix uh, Resurrection Spoiler Review. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.